Hi, my name's Sarah Combin. I'm a Year 1 teacher at St Saviour's Primary School in Toowoomba. My class consists of 28 students. Um, we have students from a range of different backgrounds um, with a range of different needs. So our project today in Grade 1 has come from a visit from a local author. Um, he had the children make creatures and the children were really engaged in this so I've decided to take it to the next level. So when I go to plan something like this, I really include the kids in the, in the planning process because obviously it's their work, they need to take ownership of it so, and they really love being part of that process. At the beginning of our project, we started to do a bit of a plan, didn't we, about our creatures. What are some of the things, let's just think back, what were some of the things we thought we could write to show different ways, the things about our creatures? Ilse? We thought we could do shape poems. Who's doing a shape poem? Great! So let's have a look at our next thing. So there, that's the type of writing we've been looking at and doing. Now then we had a good think about what we could do to present our writing. So what were some of the fantastic things you guys have come up with? Tom Charles? Make our creature with plasticine. We could make our creature with plasticine. And then what are you guys doing with it? So you're making an animation, aren't you? So that's going to be fantastic, boys. So we do a lot of brainstorms together, and from their ideas, then I can start to plan what we'll be seeing in the classroom. So, for example, some of the children did want to use the iPad today, so it just meant that I needed to have iPads there. I needed to know how many computers I was going to need for, for the children in my class. But also, I needed to see the different... Air, the different um, parts that the children were at in the process. So some children were further along in the process than others and obviously that does take preparation but I think that it allows children to work at their own level, it allows children to take ownership of their learning and for the kids to really enjoy it. So today we saw a number of different groups. For example we had the children working on the iPads to make the books through Book Creator. With the interactive whiteboard, uh, the children were working together as well because they were dictating to each other exactly what needed to be typed. With the photo stories, we had a lot of things going on. Obviously, some children used the tux paint to help them with their pictures. We had other children who were taking photos. We had our three little boys, Christian, Tom and Matt, doing their eye stop animation and they were having to use their poem that they'd written as a group and work out how they were going to show that in their animation, so how it was going to all link together. So it was fantastic. To what extent do you involve students in the planning of their learning? Which models of flexible, well-structured lesson plans have you used to engage students in learning? What are the most effective uses of interactive whiteboards for teaching and learning?